few boys basketball teams have been as consistent in the TBC Ohio as Benton County over the last few years. And tonight the Vikings were back at it again. The final score was 80 to 63 in Nelsonville as Benton County topped the NY Buckeyes. The Buckeyes enjoyed some early success, jumping out to an 8-0 lead, but that was about all that went right for them on Friday night as Vinton County answered with a 10-0 run of their own and took a 16-10 lead at the end of the first quarter. And in the second quarter is where things really got ugly for Nelsonville York. Austin Lambert hit four threes for the Vikings to lead the charge as Vinton County stormed ahead and took a 39-25 lead into the locker room. Point guard Jordan Albright had seven first-half assists distributing the ball to his teammates and into the third quarter the momentum carried on. Vinton County began the quarter on an 11-0 run capped by a three-pointer by senior Alex Owings. That gave them a 50-25 lead, doubling up Nelsonville York midway through the third, and it was all cruise control from there. The game did get a little chippy toward the end. Both teams were into the bonus by the time it was all said and done. Max Ward led the scoring effort for Vinton County with 17 points. The Vikings actually had five players in double figures. The one bright spot for Nelsonville York on the day, Colt Adams finished with 23 in the loss. Vinton County moves to two and two with the win. They take on Athens next. Coach Combs says that's a tall task, but his boys are up to it. I joked with those guys up there on the radio. I was like, they good this year. <laughs> we, we know how good Athens is, you know, on paper. They're as good a team as any team really in Southern Ohio. I think our kids are, you know, looking forward to the challenge and see where we're at as a team right now or in the year because you're going to find out pretty quick playing them where you're at. NY falls to two and two with the loss. They'll take on Alexander next week. Now, social media is kind of the hip and trendy thing, and we know that at Hardwood Heroes. Go ahead and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Hardwood Heroes. And we've got an Instagram account too at WOUB Sports if that's your thing. Use the hashtag Heroes Lace Up through the holiday season to keep up with your favorite TVC team. And remember, Hardwood Heroes returns to air Sunday, January 12th at 1130 p.m. on WOUB. Until then, I'm Avery T. Jennings reporting from Nelsonville and reminding you to be heroic.